What we're doing is we're trying to maximize our projection, but also we're trying to maximize our retraction. So how we get back into the ground. Each step has a different goal, but if we really look at it, we want to break it into zones. So my first two steps, this is my start. The reason why this is my start, they're very similar concepts and how I need to attack the ground and project my body. So going from zero, which is the line, to step one, I need to project my shoulders as far forward as possible and find my way back to the ground. So I tell guys, in order to maximize this phase, it's the same way you would win a two yard race. You'd win it first with your shoulders and then attack back, be the first one back to the ground. So attack forward, first one back to the ground. The next step is really tricky because it's the same concept. You have to get back to the ground. After you finish the first two, we look at three through seven. Each step is starting to climb, climb, climb. So my angle of attack is starting to go from very acute angle wise to very vertical. And then my upper body starts to rise every single step as I get through the end. So ideally, our, our fastest guys, like let's say John Ross, Pittman, Desmond Patman, those types of guys, River Craycraft, Alex Bachman, they're running 18 miles per hour by step seven. So our goal is minimum 17.5. You should be able to exit this phase in 17.5. If you look at the first four contacts, you want to exit this phase close to 15 miles per hour, so like 14.5 miles per hour. Uh, if we get up and we go past this phase, we go seven plus five. That's when we go seven step. We had five more steps to climb all the way up to step 12 and hit about 80, 90% of our velocity. So about 20 miles per hour by step 12. And it should be around the 20 yard line. So each, each thing has a phase uh, and a goal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video.